This question applies integration to solve a practical problem. An engineer is asked to calculate the volume of gasoline in a company's tanks at year end. A typical tank is cylindrical in shape with radius R and length L, mounted horizontally as shown in figure C1. The depth of gasoline is measured as D by taking vertical measurements in centimeters. Part A. Evaluate the integral. Part B. Suppose V is the volume of gasoline that fills the tank to a depth of D, as shown in figure C1. Explain how V may be found using part A and find V, leaving your answer in terms of L, R and D. Part A. You can just consider this integral without looking at the other details of the question, except to note that R is a constant since it is the radius of the cylinder base which is fixed. This problem cannot be evaluated by using the usual formulas. The trick is to use an appropriate substitution. We consider the Pythagorean identities. In the first identity, we can rewrite this as 1 minus sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta. So if we have a radical of the form square root a squared minus x squared appearing in the integral, an appropriate substitution is x equals a sine theta. Similarly, for the other two identities, if we have the radical a squared plus x squared in the integral, then the substitution x equals a tangent theta or a cotangent theta will be appropriate. So for our case, is the first situation. So this is our integral. If we let y equal r sine theta, then the integral becomes, we need to replace dy by an expression of theta. Differentiating y, we get, therefore dy equals r cosine theta d theta. Simplifying the expression we get, now to evaluate the integral of a cosine squared theta, consider the double angle identity. Cosine 2 theta equals 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. Therefore, cosine squared theta equals cosine 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2. We replace it in the integral. This is much easier to integrate. Next, we need to replace the theta expressions and the y expressions. Note that sine 2 theta by the double angle identity is 2 sine theta cosine theta. Therefore we have next we replace sine theta. Now sine theta is equal to y over r. Whereas cosine theta is equal to square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. So this becomes 1 minus sine squared theta, which is y squared over r squared. And finally, theta can be found by taking the sine inverse of y over r.
So this is the integral. To find an expression for V, the volume of the gasoline in the tank, we consider figure C1 again. Notice that this is a cross-sectional area of the required volume. Since we know that the length is L, the volume of the gasoline is equal to the length L times the area in the shaded region. This is a side view of the area. The equation of a circle is given by x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. In this view, we can see that the area is found by taking the integral under the x curve, which is the integral of r squared minus y squared. If we want 2 times the area, we multiply it by 2. The end points are negative r to negative r plus d. So the gas line with thickness dy, where y is between negative r and negative r plus d, has width. 2 square root r squared minus y squared. The volume required is L times the shaded area or L times negative r to negative r plus d 2 square root r squared minus y squared dy. We can now evaluate V using part A. From part A the integral of square root r squared minus y squared is this. Substituting endpoints we get, and finally,